Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve equations by combining like terms. So for these equations, we will have like terms that we are able to combine. And once we combine any like terms, we can look to solve. Now, if you need help with what terms are or what like terms are or combining like terms, I have videos that just focus on those topics and those links are down in the description. Now, will every equation that we come across have like terms that we can combine before solving? No, but it is something to look out for. So let's jump into number one, where we have 4x minus 11 plus 2x equals 13. Now, looking at this equation, do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, 4x and 2x are like terms. So we can combine them in order to simplify that side of the equation, and then we can look to solve. So combining 4x and 2x, we get 6x. So 6x, and then bring down the rest of the equation. So minus 11 equals 13. So now we have 6x minus 11 equals 13. We simplified that left side of the equation. And now we have a two-step equation that we need to solve. So we need to isolate that variable of x. And remember, we use inverse operations in order to do so. And we need to go in the reverse order of operations. So we need to undo the subtraction first. So what's the inverse operation of subtraction? Well, addition. So let's add. 11 to the left side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So add 11 to the right side as well. Now on the left side, we are subtracting 11 and adding 11. So these 11s cancel each other out. And now we have 6x equals, and then on the right side, 13 plus 11 gives us 24. And now we have 6x equals 24. So 6 times x equals 24. We need to undo that multiplication. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Division. So let's divide the left side by 6. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 6 as well. Now on the left side, we are multiplying by 6 and dividing by 6. So these 6s cancel each other out x is now isolated. So we have x equals, and then on the right side, 24 divided by 6 gives us 4. So x equals 4. That's our solution. And remember, we can check to see if we are correct by plugging in what we get and seeing if it works. So let's plug in 4 for x. Let's go down below where we have some room and check here. So 4 times 4 minus 11 plus 2 times 4 equals 13. So let's start with multiplication. We have 4 times 4, which is 16, minus 11 plus, and then we have 2 times 4, which is 8. So we have 16 minus 11 plus 8. 16 minus 11 is 5 plus 8 is 13, so we are correct here, x equals 4. Let's move on to number 2, where we have 29 on the left side of the equation equals negative 4a minus 6 plus 7. And that's on the right side of the equation. So do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have negative 6 and positive 7. So we have two constant terms here just numbers, and we can combine them. So combining negative 6 and positive 7, so negative 6 plus 7, that gives us positive 1. So we now have negative 4a plus 1 on the right side of the equation, and that equals 29. So negative 4a plus 1 on the right side equals 29 on the left side. So we simplified the right side of the equation by combining like terms. 
And now we have a two-step equation that we need to solve. So let's isolate that variable of a. We need to undo the addition first. So the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So subtract one from the right side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract one from the left side as well. Now on the right side, we are adding one and subtracting one. So these ones cancel each other out. We now have negative four a equals, and then on the left side, 29 minus one gives us 28. So we have negative four a, negative four times a equals 28. We need to undo that multiplication. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, division. So let's divide the right side by negative four. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So divide the left side by negative four as well. Now on the right side, we are multiplying by negative four and dividing by negative four. So these negative fours cancel each other out. A is now isolated. So we have A equals, and then on the left side, 28 divided by negative four. So a positive divided by a negative. That's going to give us a negative. 28 divided by negative four gives us negative seven. So A equals negative seven. That's our solution. And let's check that by plugging in negative seven for A. So we have 29 equals negative four times negative seven minus six plus seven. So let's multiply first negative four times negative seven. So we have a negative times a negative. That equals a positive. So this gives us 28. So we have 28 minus six plus seven. 28 minus six is 22. And 22 plus seven does give us 29. So we are correct. A equals negative seven. And then lastly, for number three, we have 5G plus eight minus 3G equals 40. Do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, 5G and negative 3G. So we now have 2G plus eight equals 40. So we simplified the left side of the equation by combining like terms, and now we can solve this two-step equation. So let's undo the addition first. What's the inverse operation? Subtraction. So subtract eight from the left side and subtract eight from the right side. On the left side, we're adding eight and subtracting eight. So these eights cancel each other out. And now we have two G equals, and then on the right side, 40 minus eight gives us 32. So now we have two G equals 32. Two times G equals 32. How do we undo that multiplication? Well, we use the inverse operation, division. So let's divide the left side by two. That means we need to divide the right side by two as well. We are multiplying by two and dividing by two on the left side. So these twos cancel each other out. G is now isolated. And then on the right side, 32 divided by two gives us 16. So G equals 16, that's our solution. And let's check that solution by plugging 16 in for G. So let's plug in down here, we have five times 16 plus eight minus three times 16 equals 40. So let's multiply first, five times 16 is 80. So we have 80 plus eight minus, and then three times 16 gives us 48. 80 plus eight is 88 minus 48. So 88 minus 48 does give us 40. We are correct, G equals 16. So there you have it. There's how to solve equations by combining like terms. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.